नमस्कार माई सेल्फ एम श्रवण कुमार फ्रॉम इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू टू द डेली ब्रीफिंग ऑफ सिक्सटीन नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस इज फॉर द एस एस अब्जर्व वेदर एज फोरकास्टेड वी हैव अब्जर्व सिग्निफिकेंट रेनफॉल ओवर थिलवलूर एट सेंटीमीटर्स एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ कन्याकुमारी सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स ओवर द कोस्टल तमिलनाडु द हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द टूडेज वेदर ब्रीफिंग आर Yes, it is. Depression has been intensified and converted into a deep depression over the west central Bay of Bengal, and in the next 24 hours, it is further going to intensify and form a cyclonic storm. And it will cross the Bangladesh coast between Mongla and Cape Apura with a wind speed of 60 to 70 kilometers per hour, gusting to 80 kilometers per hour. In the and it will meet the land over on 18th of November early morning hours. A fresh easterly wave is likely to cause isolated heavy rainfall spell over Tamil Nadu and Kerala on 19th and 20th November. So, coming to the synoptic systems over the Indian subcontinent region, you can see that the yesterday's depression is intensified into a deep depression. In the early morning hours of today, 16th November, it is it is moving north northeastwards. Presently, it is centered over 17.4 degrees north and longitude 87.0 degrees east, about 390. Kilometers southeast of Vishakhapatnam and 320 kilometers of southeast of Paradip and southwest of Diga and then 16 kilometers southwest of Cape Apura, Bangladesh. As you can clearly see in the graph, a upper air cyclonic circulation is found over southwest Bay of Bengal and adjoining Sri Lanka coast, and the trough runs from this cyclonic circulation to the deep depression over West Central Bay. coming to the cyclone track you can clearly see that the deep depression is going to intensify further into a cyclonic storm in the next 24 hours and it will cross the bangladesh coast between mongla and cape apura in the early hours of 18th november so coming to the fishermen's warning the areas prohibited for the fishermen to enter into the sea are the coast of andhra pradesh odisha gwb and the bangladesh coast for the next 3 days that is 16th 17th and 18th november and from the 19th and 20th there are no warnings for the fishermen so coming to the heavy rainfall warnings for the next 5 days the forecast say that today you have a heavy rainfall over the tamil nadu region because of the systems of the deep depression and the trough and you over the odisha region gwb and the uh, nmmt coming for the 17th you see a very high rainfall for tamil nadu again heavy rainfall for gwb assam and meghalaya but you have a very heavy rainfall forecast for the mizoram and tripura for 18th you have the heavy rainfall forecast for the northeast regions of uh, nmmt and assam and meghalaya on 19th and 20th you have the heavy rainfall forecast for the tamil nadu and kerala region due to the fresh easterly wave approaching the land so coming to the day, uh, as the northeast regions are prone to very heavy rainfall episodes during this due to the cyclonic storm which is going to form you have the warnings for the day 1 and day 2 for tripura this is a district wise warning where you can see heavy rainfall for the day, day 1 uh, for south tripura gomati and uh, Sip, 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 sapijala districts and for the day 2 you have very heavy rainfall warning for the southern districts of tripura uh, this is the map for the district wise map for mizoram so day 2 that is on tomorrow you, there is warning for heavy rainfall over the eastern districts of western districts of mizoram thank you very much see you tomorrow please stay connected for the updates on our website and also with the social media platforms thank you very much